Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to the next edition of Ready? Penny's Alphabet Nook. Yes. All right. The ABCs. Well, guess what? Today, we're going to learn all about the letter C. So, what do you need to do? You're right. You need to go get your paper and your markers and your little ABC chart. Okay? So, I'll wait on you. You go get your stuff, okay? I might take a little nap while you're gone, but I'll wait on you. Okay, you have all your stuff? You ready? Okay, let's get started. All about the letter C. Let me get my pointer here. All right, now when we look at the uppercase C, we see that it's just one line. And it's almost like you're making an O, but you don't go all the way up. You don't close the fence. You leave it open for the cows to come in. You ready? So you're going to go around just like you're making an O, but don't close the gate, okay? Just one line. Now, the lowercase c looks a lot like the uppercase c. Just one line, just like an O. We just don't close it, okay? And that's the one. It's going to start right there at the fence. And then when we talk about our ABC line, um, our sentence line, it's going to start at the fence, okay? All right. Ready to move on? Okay. So now we have our little formation poems. It says, near the top of the sky, so if you can see it right there, we're kind of in the clouds. Near the top of the sky, leap left, don't cry. Curl back around, touch down on the ground, almost an O, but just don't close, okay? And I just like saying, you know, we're, start, we're gonna start here in the clouds, up and touch the sky, down past the fence and down into the ground. But remember, we're gonna put the cows in, but don't shut the gate on the cows, okay? Now, for the lowercase c, near the top of the fence, leap up to the left, curl back around, touch down on the ground, almost a no, but just don't close, okay? And again, it's just one line, up, around, and there you go around, down, and back up. Don't close our fence. Got it? All right, let's move on. Now we're going to work on our uppercase and our lowercase letters. And I'm going to move my other papers so my markers do not go through. All right, we have our eight colors, right? I had a gray in there by mistake. I'll move my gray out of the way. All right, so what color should we start with today? I heard someone out there say red. And when I was coming into um, town this morning, the skies were looking awful red this morning. So good choice. Okay, you ready? Remember, just one, one line's making the C. It's like an O. Just we're closing in. We want the cows in there, but we don't want to close them in. You ready? Up, around, down, and back up. Good. That's an uppercase C. Now where did the lowercase C need to start? Do you remember? Does the lowercase C, does it start in the the sky? Does it start down here on the ground? Does it go down in the dirt? No, you're right. It starts right there at the fence. So find your dotted line at your fence and make a C. Just like the uppercase C, just a smaller version. Okay, that was red. All right, what color next? Oh, I heard someone say black. Okay, let's go with black. Uppercase first, up in the sky, then the clouds, touch the sky, down, touch the ground, and come back up a little bit. Get those cows corralled in there. And now the lowercase c. You're right. You guys are so smart. Start at the fence and circle around. Good job. Okay. What's after black? I heard someone say purple. Good choice. All right. Let's make our uppercase. One line, do, do 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 get in there, cows. Good job. And then the lowercase c, right at the fence. Good job. Okay, what color's next? Mm, I believe I heard someone say blue. All right. Start here in the clouds and up to the sky, down around into the ground and back up a little bit. Good job. And now the lowercase c. Good. You guys are moving right along this morning. I'm so proud of you. All right, what color's next? 
Oh, I heard someone say brown. Good choice. All right, I'm going to come up here at the top. Ready? No one's in the clouds, the sky, down to the ground and back. Uppercase and then the lowercase. Very good. Good job. You guys are so smart. You need to kiss your brains. Go boop and kiss your head. All right, we have three colors left. What color should be next? Oh, I heard someone say orange. Okay. Let's make our uppercase one first. Good job. And now the lowercase one. That's right. You're right again. Back at the fence. Good job. We've got a lot of cows in there this morning, don't we? Okay. What color is next? Oh, I heard someone say yellow. Okay. What should we do? You're right, the uppercase one first. So in the clouds in the sky, and we come around, and then back to the fence for that lowercase c. Good job. Okay, let's go over the colors we've used so far, because we have just one color missing. We have red, black, purple, blue, brown, orange, yellow. What color is left? You're right, the color green. So we'll get our green. Go over here, we'll make our uppercase C. Good job. And now our lowercase C. Excellent. You guys are so, 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 so smart. So proud of you. All right, now let's get my other papers back here. Now then, now we want to know what comes before the letter C and what comes after the letter C. So we need to find the C, where is it? Oh, that's right, we have to count. We need to see what number it is in the alphabet line. You're right, I forgot that. All right, let's go, do we find the C? Where is it? You're right, right there, good job. So let's count. One, two, three. Ooh, it's the third letter of the alphabet, good job. All right, so I'm going to take my green marker and I'm going to underline it so we see it. Now, what letter comes before the letter C? What's that letter right there? Let me get my pointer. Correct, that's the letter B. So we'll put us a B right here. The letter B comes before it. All right, what comes after it? So find it again. It was just the third letter of the alphabet. And what comes after? You're right, the letter D. And then we'll make an uppercase D here. That comes after it. Good job. And then right there in the middle, let's put a C just for, oh, that's just for fun. Okay, we'll put it kind of, we'll make a lowercase C. Okay. So we know the letter B comes before C, and we know the letter D comes after C, okay? Now we need to say our letters, you ready? So first we're going to go forward. So find your letter C again. Okay, you ready? C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Whew, that was good work, okay? Now let's find the C again, because now we're gonna say our letters backwards. You ready, where's the C at? Right, close to the front. C, B, A. Whew, well, that took a long time, didn't it? <laughs> That was pretty easy with it just being the third letter. Okay, now we need to move on. You ready to move on to the next page? Yes. Okay, so we want to know the beginning sound. All right, do you have any ideas? Because I've kind of given you a little bit of a hint. I kept saying a C word over and over. And what was it? Cow, you're right. All right, but let me get my little fridge phonics thing out here. You ready? Let's push the C and listen. C. C says K. And C says K. Every letter makes a sound. C says K. And 
All right, so did you get that? The C makes two different sounds. Let's listen to it again closely, okay? C. C says and C says Every letter makes a sound. C says and All right, so did you get the two sounds a C makes? It makes the k sound, right? Like in cow, okay? And then the other sound it makes, it's kind of almost like an S, kind of tricky. K as in circle. Okay, you got that? So we have kind of like the, I guess you might call it the hard C, k, as in cow or cat. And then the soft C or the other C, the tricky C sound, kind of sounds like the S as in circle. Okay, good job. So just remember, a C has two different sounds, but one's a little tricky. Okay, now, do you think we could think of a couple of words that start with the C before we move on to our flashcards and look at them? You're right. Okay, let me move my flashcards out of the way. Cow, because I kept saying it over and over, right? Okay, cow. C O W. Cow. And then what was the other one? I just said it just a minute ago. You're right. Circle. So C I R C L E circle. Okay, now let's get out on a little flashcard pictures that I had. And we'll find some other C words. Okay, what do we have here? We have a crayon. Then we have what's this? You're right, a can and a car and a cat. You're right. And then we need a clown. Good. And the last one, eh, we already had that one, didn't we? A cow. Good job. Okay. Can you think of any other C words? Or is there someone in your family whose name starts with the letter C? Think about it there. I have a niece and her name is Cassie. I have several nieces and nephews, but one, her name starts with a C and it is Cassie. Okay, good job. So, guess what? That was it. Let's go back over our worksheets again. We had our flashcards with the different C words. And then we know that the letter C has two different sounds, K and S, right? Okay, then we learned that the letter B comes before the C and the letter D comes after the letter C, right? Then we worked on making our uppercase and lowercase C's with our crayons. Ah, oh, right there. Well, we didn't use crayons. We used markers in different what? Colors. There's another C word. All right. And then we had our little letter formation poem that we learned. And then finally, we had that we found out that the letter C, both uppercase and lowercase, is just one line. Good job. All right, you guys are so smart. Well, for our alphabet game this week, you need to get out, guess what? It's another C word, construction paper. So you're gonna have to have some um, construction paper, or if you don't have any construction paper at home and you just have a big piece of white paper, great, that's all you need. Get out your crayons and you can draw the rest of it. But if you want to, like I've got here, you're going to use construction paper, some scissors, um, glue, and either like a white or a silver marker, okay? So you got that. But again, do you have to have this to do this game at home? Absolutely not. You can draw it and use what you have at home, okay? Then we'll move over here and I'll show you what we're going to have. We're making a, it's going to be a car game. And why do you think it is a car game? Hello, car. You're right. Car begins with the letter C. So what I did is um, we used Miss Pam's Cricut machine at work. I kind of cheated a little bit, but we cut. See, there's another C word, cut. You're going to cut out a car shape 
And then I wanted to have a sunshine in my sky, but I also needed a cloud because it's kind of a partly cloudy day. Get cloudy. Uh, hello, another C word. I'm full of C words this morning, right? Right. Well, on my car, I added a headlight and a brake light to complete my car. And then I've got a black, I took a piece of black construction paper and I made a strip for my road. And that's where I took my silver marker or a white marker or crayon and I made the dotted line on the road. Okay, so I have a car with a cloud and a sun and I have a road. So my car is ready to go, right? Zoom, that was it, right? Now I'm missing something. What am I missing? You're right, my car, it doesn't have any wheels. I'm not going anywhere, I don't have any wheels. Well, that's where the alphabet part comes in. You are going to need, okay, get ready. You are going to need 52 circles. That's right, I said 52 circles. You're going to need one complete set of circles for the uppercase alphabet, you see right there. And then you're gonna need another complete set for the lowercase. So 26 plus 26 equals 52, you're right. So once you get that done, and that's gonna take a little bit of time, but you know what, if it's a rainy day, you can't go outside, so Get out your crayons, your circle, or something that you can trace or draw a circle, and get busy and cut them out. Then once you have them all cut out, you're going to write one letter on each circle. And like I said, you're going to have a complete set for the uppercase alphabet and a complete set for the lowercase alphabet. All right. Now, once you have that done, you can take your circles and then you can just place them out. Let me move my car out of the way. Zoom! We had to go for a drive. You're going to take your circles and just place them at random out all around the table. Now you could also do this as kind of like a memory game and turn them over. But boy oh boy, that would be a lot of circles. And sometimes I don't know if my brain would remember all of the places where they could be. But anyway, you get the idea, right? Now let me just take them and I'll shuffle them up because they're kind of close together, right? Okay, but you get the idea of what we're going to do. So once you have your letters all placed out on the table, you have to find the matches. So you need to find the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter that match, okay? So let's see, let me move my car back down here. All right, so the first letter I found up here at the top was my lowercase b, okay? So I need to go, and I'm going to put my lowercase b, I'm going to make that be my back tire. There. Now, what do I need for the front? You're right, I need the uppercase b. So then I would look at my circles that I have, and I'd try to find the uppercase b. Do you see the uppercase b anywhere? Mm, let's see, is this it? Is, is that an uppercase B? No, you're right. Oh man, I'm so glad you were with me this morning to help me along. You're right, that's the letter D. And that's not DB? Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, right there it is. I see it. Okay, so then I'm going to put my uppercase B on the front. And then my car is ready to go. I have the uppercase and lowercase b. All right, let's do one more for fun. And then once you're done with that, put your matches together and place them off to the side. Okay, right here I have, oops, turn that over again. I have an uppercase h. And let's see, one, two, three. It takes three lines to make an uppercase h. Now I need to find my lowercase h. And where is it? You're right, it's right there in that first row, and it is, what color is that? You're right, it's a pink. So I have a blue uppercase H for my front tire, and I have a pink lowercase H for my back tire. 
Good job. All right. So see how simple that game was? Very simple. And you know what? The most important part? Lots of learning fun. And that's what, that's what it's all about, right? We want to laugh. We want to learn. We want to play. And we want to have fun. And I think we got that all accomplished today, didn't we? We did. Well, that's it for me and the letter C. I'll see you next week with a new letter. Bye-bye.